I have some leftover night crawlers. So I'm going to try putting them on my light rods and reels and see if I can catch something out of a local creek. This is actually a new park and I've only fished here maybe once or twice. And I've caught fish every time I've fished here. I am going to be fishing when it's dark out and I've only brought my small light. So the video is not going to be too good after dark. I'm just hoping I can catch a bullhead or two once the sun goes down. Well, let's get some night crawlers on my hooks and see what I can catch. And I'm going to rig them whole. I'm not sure what hooks I'm using. I just kind of found these. They are a circle hook. Whoops, whoops. Ha. But they're bigger than the Team Catfish ones I had, or the, the Flea Fly ones, the Bait Boss hooks. These are probably one-aught Gamagatsu hooks, I bet. I'm just going to start off rigging one whole night crawler. And it's just a small split shot that's on here. Hopefully I'll hold it in place. And it's the same thing on both rigs. This night crawler is a little bit bigger. Let's see what I catch. <laughs> Set the hook like Mike Iaconelli. Something was playing with it. Took most of my worm. I think I'll leave the small piece on there. Put it back out. A lot of small fish here. Another small bite. That was a good bite. Oh, in there. <laughs> wow, it's something big. <laughs> the carp. Carp on night crawlers. How can I get them in without them breaking my line? I was not expecting a fart. Let's do this without falling in. Ah. 
Oh no, it didn't. <laughs> Thought I broke my line. Before he flips out and I lose him. Muddy carp. <laughs> cool. What are you doing eating night crawlers? Circle hook did get him right in the corner of the mouth. And he's, ble whoa, he's bleeding a little bit. I was not expecting to catch a fish this big. Nice little carp. I won't let him go. Throw up. <laughs> All muddy. That's really cool. I just caught a carp on night crawlers. I usually use a bread and corn mix to catch carp. But hey, I take them. Really cool catch. Check my line. It's fine. So I'm going to put another night crawler on here on this circle hook and maybe catch another carp. Who knows? This spot always has weird fish catching. I think last time I was here, I caught a sucker. I'm also glad I caught a fish. If I get this video edited quick enough, then that means I can push my boat video to next week or even release it on a Sunday. Right now I'm releasing videos every Thursday. And I don't wanna boat video you guys to death. Although it is a really cool boat. Now I'd like to have a bullhead drop by. Another bite already. Subtile bite. Well, it's checking this one. It was hung and has no bait on it. It's a lot of wood on the right side. I may have to rethink how I put this one out. See what happens. There we go. But he's not there. And it took my bait. And it's getting dark out. I'm gonna have to turn my little light on. I seem to be stripping my hooks of bait. I've checked them a couple of times off camera. In a creek like this, you want to check your bait pretty often. <laughs> Canadian geese. Take the bait off this one too. Say, creek chubs, minnows, maybe even crawfish. 
taking my bait. Now let's see what I catch after dark. Ooh, that was a good hit. You still there? Yep. All right. Oh, wow. Big old red eye. I think there's a rock bass. Haha. <laughs> That's a big one, too. Well, I know they get bigger, but hey, for a creek this size, that's a good fish. Let's see if I can get it to come out on the camera. Sometimes it can be hard. Look at that red eye. Cool. I think that's what I was catching here a while back as well. I don't know if it was the same day as catching that sucker or not, but I was catching a bunch of really discolored rock bass. Can I keep my bait? Let's put it back out here. I'm trying to keep it in the middle of the creek. I'm going to check this other one. <laughs> had a creek chub on it the whole time now that's funny i didn't even know it had a fish and oh the hook's right there i should be able to get it out get this guy on camera nice size creek chub it's really good flathead bait but i'm gonna let him go i'm looking for bullheads if i catch a bullhead i'm keeping it Good thing I checked this rod and I got to keep my bait, put it right back out. All right, I know you guys can't see anything at all, but I decided to turn off my light to see if it's spooking the bullheads from biting the bait now since it's gotten dark i've not got a single bite from anything there's nothing going on at all once something happens i'll try to turn on the light and start recording and maybe pull in a bullhead or who knows what but for now i'm gonna sit here and enjoy the darkness well checking my bait and this one was snagged and this one it's snagged and I've been here for quite a while I've actually checked them a couple of times and uh, not a single bite so as soon as it got dark everything shut off I guess everything went to bed and I guess I'm going to go to bed too here soon this is a weekday for me I wanted to get a uh, fishing video done for you guys and took some time during the weekday to uh, see if I could catch something and hope to catch some bullheads because I have some flathead guided trips coming up. It'd be nice to get a couple of bullheads for those trips just to see if we can get a big flathead off of a bullhead. I got a couple of weeks and I'll probably bring you guys with me too. I'm probably going to lose this hook. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for taking your time out of your day to watch my video. I really, really appreciate it. And I really can't wait to take you guys fishing on the big boat once it's done. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you guys next time.